Good morning, everybody. Well, this morning for me, there is an obvious verse to go to. <laughs> and that's because here in Chard, we have a layer of snow that we've woken up to this morning. Um, and uh, it's always lovely when we see snow. Now, in a strange way, I didn't deliberately uh, wear what I'm wearing this morning. It was what I thought about wearing when I got up. Before I thought about what verse I was going to look at. And you may not, you may, hopefully you'll be able to see what I've got round my neck. It's a, it's a red heart. Can you see it? Yes, I'm sure you can. And the contrast of the red on the white. I suddenly realised that I was actually wearing an illustration of the verse we're going to look at this morning. Because when you think of snow, what verse springs to your mind but Isaiah 1, 18. Come now says the Lord, let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. This is the offer. It goes on in the next two verses. If you're willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. There's a clear choice before every man and woman in this world. Sin is scarlet. Sin is out there, visible, very clearly visible. Look at my red heart. <laughs> and that the fact that it's a heart. This is the heart of God, you know. The heart of God is red. It's bleeding. The cost of transforming our sin into that is scarlet, that's like scarlet, into white, is the blood of Jesus. It doesn't make any kind of sense, does it? Because if you pour, if you think literally, if you pour red blood onto anything, it'll turn it red. But the blood of Jesus turns that which looks scarlet to be as white as snow. And snow, when it first falls, is so white. I... I woke up in, in, in about five o'clock this morning, before dawn, and I knew it had snowed, even though the curtains were closed, because the there was light coming in from the whiteness of the snow outside. I knew it had snowed. The light was different. Changes everything when snow falls, doesn't it? It's that beautiful snow when it falls. It lays a covering over everything. And that's another picture of what Jesus has done. His death has covered everything. Covered all the bad that we've ever, ever done. It's covered. Snow falls on everything. It doesn't just fall on the trees or just fall on the path or just fall on the roofs. It falls on everything. There's a blanket of snow on everything. And that's what Jesus has done. He has transformed our lives. Everything looks different when the snow falls. It's... it's it has a, it has a, an otherworldly feeling, doesn't it, when there is snow out there. Maybe you haven't got any snow and you're thinking, what is this silly woman babbling on about? But imagine it if you haven't got snow. Imagine it in your mind's eye, how it looks when there's a blanket of snow. And we call it a blanket of snow or a covering of snow. And it is that. And that picture of whiteness and snow. You know... This is what God has done for us. It's done. The sin has been dealt with. But each person has to make sure that their, their own sin has been covered. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Almost let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, says the Lord. It's an invitation. Come. Let's chat it. Let's talk it over. What what? Do you realise what you've been doing? It's like the Lord is saying to us, do you realise how evil the things you've been doing are? Do you realise the mess you've got yourself into? There's a way out. And that way out is the cross. That way out is Jesus. And the way is open to you. Come now, let us reason together. And it also says to me that God is always wanting to communicate with us. He doesn't want to be left out. 
When you have things troubling you, when you have things that you're anxious about, when you have things that you're concerned about, he just, he wants to talk about them. He wants to be part of your life. He's a communicating God. He's not, he's not a remote being way off there who doesn't want to hear, doesn't want to listen to our voice, who we tire with our talking. No, no. Come, let's talk, says the Lord. Let's talk about it. Even though, even though your sins are just like scarlet, they can be, they shall be as white as snow. I've done it. I've sorted it. Let's, let's, let's get through this together. Let me help you get to the place where your sins become as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. I'm sure he's talking about a white sheet, not a black sheet here. That the wool is white compared to the crimson. It's a stark contrast. And when you, when you know your sins are forgiven, when you know everything has been wiped out and everything is clean, it is such a wonderful feeling. There's no guilt. Romans 8 says, There is now, therefore, no condemnation for sin. There is no guilt. Don't ever let the enemy put guilt on you for anything you've ever done, even for the consequences. Everything we've done has consequences. And we see sometimes the reality of the consequences that have happened because of certain things we did when we were younger. And we could be tempted to think, well, it's my fault that, that, that things led to that. Well, it's not. There are lots and lots of things, factors in every situation. And it's not right for us to take, to carry the guilt. The fact is that when we sin, the enemy takes advantage of it and the enemy twists things and the enemy tries to destroy us. He wants to rob us of every good thing in our lives. But Jesus wants to redeem them. And Jesus is able to redeem even the worst situations. Once the sin factor is dealt with, he can get to work by our invitation into a situation to sort them out and bring things right. And he's able to transform even the worst situations and make them, make, bring good out of them for everyone concerned. So it's a wonderful message today. The snow always reminds me of that verse in Isaiah. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Praise God. Enjoy the snow today, if you've got it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.